in the interview you're about to watch, you're going to be struck, massively struck, by the positivity of Sean Whiter. He's interviewed by Cambridge United Chief Executive Officer Jez George himself, a Cambridge boy, significantly linked through playing and managing at all levels of Cambridge of football. And as the two of them talk together, you will see in Sean Whiter the most remarkable, positive, and committed young man you can possibly imagine. Have a look at this. You've used a word a few times today since I've been here, and you used it outside before we started filming, which was normal. And you yeah. told me about the barbecue. Yeah. Go on, just talk to me about that. Because that's that's the moment, isn't it? That that's almost like those little tiny moments that hit home. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, you, you sit in the hospital and you sit there, or you can go to Tesco's and you get greeted by people of appreciation or inspire inside of it. But both me and Joey, I think our partners as well, we're normal people. We're, we're there deep down at heart. We've still got feelings. We've still got, uh, we still want to do our normal day-to-day -day activities. But, um, yeah, we want to help out and do our bit. And, um yeah, want to live like everybody else, and uh, but I can't fault what the general public have helped us helped us achieve over the last five weeks with their support. Um, but yeah, with with the barbecue side, it was more of a, a mental side for me, knowing that that you've got friends around you and friends will be there for you that that want to get you through this time. And um, where I found it, I wanted to get a burger off the barbecue, and um, I wasn't in that position to do it, but somebody else did. And um, deep down, you're like, I, I could have done that five weeks ago. But now I'm in that stage where my friends will do it for me. And later down the line, I'm going to repay that back to them. And uh, yeah, just a way of saying thank you. And I, I can't fault them. Sean, sure, just tell us w where you are in terms of, you said about prosthetics take a little bit yeah. of time and everything. You're going back and getting physio at the minute. Yeah. Just try it. I know it's difficult, but like plot the few months and... Um, ahead in terms of challenges that yeah. they've got now yeah where, where we go from here is um, they introduce you onto basically where I've had my operation um, I go on to a basic set of, of limbs which are called uh, stubbies um, they're base, they, they set you up to be around your sort of kneeling height yep. uh, because of your balance and how your body reacts to movement um, and from there I'll be at a kneeling height while walking but it gives me that range of movement and gives me my life back that I can move around um, be it at a lower level but I can still be a normal person and still get around amongst the general public um, it helps me with a day to day life um, the simple things, getting to the toilet, getting out of bed um, using um, day to day materials um, from there, from the what they call the stubbies again they are sort of telescopic, and so the fact is that they will you will increase your height with your development. So if I can increase my development and make sure that the physios are working alongside me, then we will get higher and higher and higher where we get to a level where potentially we will then need to start to move and start to think about the knees and how the knee joint works and moves. From there, it would be a prosthetic limb with a knee joint in there, yeah. um, and hopefully that will be in a year's time that we would be at that level and then from there <coughs> you can take it further with how you are previously in your life and what you enjoyed so be it me and joey both in goal enjoyed golf um and how you react with the swinging of the limb and yeah. how yeah it may be a, a prosthetic limb to take you further with golf um there may be a prosthetic limb to take you for swimming um, a prosthetic limb for cycling um all different limbs there that um, that the world or the, the manufacturers have got now um, but apart from that that's my next steps help me nail that triathlon yeah yeah and uh, I'd love to do another triathlon one day um, and with a goal yeah hopefully do that within two years um, with support from friends and family um, and hope to invite any other people that want to get involved we recently set a rowing challenge um, where I've been doing the rehab, been doing 2,000 metres in the gym on a rowing machine um, I, with the upper body. And so I generally put it out there on Facebook to set a goal to see what other people were doing. Um, and that's gone fantastic with the reaction that we've got there. Um, different people setting times, people competing against each other, male, male, female, female, or maybe sometimes, yeah, female versus a male, which which is great to see. Um, yeah. And 
we can obviously try and put you in touch with some people who have achieved some incredible things in Paralympics and, and different things and you've already met one or two people as well yeah. haven't you? Yeah, um, I've been blessed to be, uh, I had the chance to meet uh, the captain of the 2012 um, wheelchair rugby team and uh, the words he gave, the, the sort of the tips that he gave me, I can't fault what uh, from there in the fact that he set me a few little challenges personally the fact um, he knows he came to visit me i now have to go there and go and visit himself um, which will be in central london which then sets me the target i've got to get into the middle of london yeah. on my wheelchair yeah. and uh, be it let's go and explore that and that yeah. gives me another another goal in three months time that i've got to get into central london on my wheelchair and see how accessible that will be um, but no. But, uh, but, no, I'm touched by it all. Now, this is why we've got to support the Football Family Day on Sunday the 9th of October. There's three things you can do. First, buy a ticket now at www.cufcdirect.com. Cufcdirect.com. Even if you can't come, buy a ticket. Get pals to buy a ticket. Secondly, you can make a donation at the Just Giving page. And finally, just spread the message about the 9th of October, about the Football Family Day here at Cambridge United. We want to support Sean and Joey. We need to promote the day on all your social media accounts. You can help with this. We're part of it. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday the 9th of October.